I'm John Hillier from the Rail Camera Club. Um, about a couple of years ago, we, uh, the, the Camera Club decided that uh, it would be a good idea if we tried to find a, the Young Railway Photographer of the Year. And um, we approached um, the National Railway Museum and a number of other sponsors. When John Hillier came to ask the NRM whether we would be interested in partnering with him about the Young Railway Photographer of the Year, uh, we leapt at the chance. And we were really heartened that by the encouragement that we, we had from all of the sponsors, uh, particularly the National Railway Museum, Network Rail and, uh, and Morton's. And we were being overwhelmed by the high standard of, of uh, entries we've had. We've had no, over 900 pictures to have a look at. I'm Charlotte Kingston. I'm Head of Interpretation and Design at the National Railway Museum in York. I'm uh, Gareth Evans, the Deputy Editor of the Railway Magazine. I'm Peter Townsend and for 35 years I was uh, the owner and Managing Director of Silverlink Publishing. I'm Ross Middleton, uh, Railway Photographer. I'm Robin Jones. I'm the Editor of Heritage Railway Magazine. I'm Tim Hartley. I'm a publisher at Morton's Media Group and we publish uh, five leading railway titles. Uh, we've just spent uh, a couple of uh, days with the judging panel looking at hundreds and hundreds of uh, images that uh, the wide variety of uh, entrants to this competition have uh, put forward. Um, and we're absolutely convinced that um, we've found some absolutely stunning images. Some real variety, we've got some beautiful shots of locomotives and rail vehicles moving about, um, but we've also got some really lovely shots of the railway infrastructure, the bridges, the stations, and some little details here and there. Both colour and black and white, and of historical perspectives. And I think it's going to be a really tough, tough call to choose an overall winner. evening. I wish everyone who entered the competition good luck as we announce the winner later on. For me it's amazing to see it on the museum floor, it looks gorgeous and I think it, it's really heartening to see the enthusiasm, the passion, the creativity. With this level of interest and the quality of the entries you can see here, the future of railway photography and the enjoyment the images give to so many, including me, is safe. You know, there's a photograph there that a 10 year old took. I know I couldn't have done that when I was 10. I think that's really exciting for us to see. So, uh, the first place in the under 19s is uh, Sean Mattox. Is Sean here? And the first place for 19 to 25 year olds is Bradley Langton. This Special award goes to Gwyn Clem. And the overall winner is Bradley Langton. They're extremely happy. I couldn't be happier about it. Such a big competition and such a big deal, especially when it comes to railroad photography and then sort of it, having an event held in the Railway Museum, the Holy Grail, of, uh, sort of the hobby. <laughs> Everyone knows the Railway Museum. Yeah. But yeah, very overwhelming. I'm sort of very proud. <laughs> I've always been interested in railways and definitely I'm sure I'll be uh, inspired to a different level. It's the only thing I've been good at really. So I've just tried to stick with it and seeing what happens, seeing where it goes. My main drive is just to go out and explore. <laughs> it's sort of enjoy my days out and take as many pictures as I can. Just, I've really enjoyed it and it's just maybe you know, try and look at the different aspects of railways and photography in general in a new light and stuff. Honestly, I'd love more than anything to make it a profession, but we'll just see where it goes. And it's really exciting to see so many uh, brilliant entries from young people across the UK. And uh, I think the uh, quality of the images is uh, such that I think the future of railway photography in the UK is in uh, good hands. And I'm very pleased to welcome those photographers into the heritage railway sector. So it's going to be a really excellent, excellent uh, exhibition and a book. Perhaps this might be an annual event or an, a biennial event, but we will see. But it's been a tremendous pleasure to uh, to work with everybody. So we've been delighted to be a part of this process uh, to support it and I know that along with the rest of our colleagues in the publishing world and beyond uh, we hope that this is something that will continue for years to come to bring in uh, more people into what is a, a living breathing movement.